Hey guys, it's Mike with Financeable here. It's Friday, which means it's time to answer the weekly challenge question. By the way, if you like these videos, definitely hit the like button down below and subscribe. We've got a lot more coming. Let's hop in here. So this week's question is a puzzle question. And while it's not the hardest question we've seen in the series, it's a bit funky. The question is, we have a company with cash flows from operations of $20, a change in networking capital that had a negative $10 cash impact, DNA of five, capital expenditures of negative 20, and an equity value of 450 million. And the question is, what's the price to earnings ratio? So that's our question. Let's hop in here. As with all these puzzle questions, we wanna start with the end in mind. So what we need here is price to earnings. We don't have per share data. So what we're gonna need is equity value and net income. We have equity value, but we don't have net income. So that's the first thing we're gonna solve for. And to do that, we're gonna work backwards up the cash flow statement. I should also note that you can see over to the side here that I've included a preview of what's happening in the cash flow statement just so you can see what's happening as I'm entering these items in. So to begin with, we have $20 of CFO and we had a negative $10 impact from working capital. So we're gonna add that back. And in the cash flow statement, we would have added back our non-cash charges, which is our DNA here. So we need to subtract that to work backwards. So we're gonna subtract five. And that gets us to net income of $25. Next, we'll move down and we'll plug in our equity value of 450. We had net income of 25. And we'll divide equity value by net income to get to our price to earnings ratio. So the answer to this week's question is that we have an 18 times price to earnings ratio. And just as an aside, the $20 of capital expenditures was a red herring. As always, thank you so much for taking the time to check out our videos and for participating on the polls on LinkedIn that create these videos. If you found this video helpful, definitely hit the like button down below and subscribe. We've got a lot more coming. Hope you have a nice weekend. Take care.